Hey Legionnaires, and welcome back. We're here in Rome 2 once again with another part of this Total War League Siege Tournament uh, series. And this is Series 8. Uh, we are doing the second part of the E Tears versus Thelanius was right match. And uh, yes, if you haven't watched the first part of that, I do recommend you go do so because I'm going to probably make some spoilers uh, in this one here. Um, so this is your final warning. If you haven't checked that one out, hopefully I put a pop-up uh, with a link for you to go and check that one out because I definitely would recommend doing so. But anyway, yes, so this is game two of that match. I put the other one out a few days ago uh, and we had e -tiers on the defense and Valenus was right, was on the attack. Now, obviously, they have switched sides. We have e -tiers attacking and Valenus uh, defending. e -tiers did win on the defense when they were playing as Lusitani and Armenia. Today, they are playing Colchis and Nervii. Uh, on the uh, defense today, we have Lusitani again and we have Bactria this time as Philanus plays them. Hopefully I put up some uh, like uh, comps you'd have a look at. And uh, you can see sort of what both sides are bringing. And uh, what is going to be brought to the field. I imagine it's going to be fairly similar to like, things like uh, Lusitani. I imagine like Iberian Swords. Gonna be uh, like and like veteran shield warriors probably gonna be brought. It seems like everyone sort of knows what is best to bring. Like Iberian Slingers, we saw them before as well. They're already jabbing away. It looks like they're just jabbing away at Carly Axman. Uh, Colchis kind of does act as like a 2.0 Armenia. They can bring these very nasty uh, Axman if they want to. I show the back quite nicely for these Iberian skirmishes here. You can mercilessly jabby them. As a big strategy that I've been seeing more and more, obviously, in this Total War League seat, uh, like to tournament, is obviously uh, like stacking up with these towers and blocking arch, ta arch towers, uh, which, to be honest, like I said last time, I don't think it's a biggie I'm shooting at you, but maybe it is. Maybe it's more of a big thing than I, I realize. Um, I'm sure that the they're, they're, they're pros. They know better than me, but to be honest, they're not like Attila Arch Towers. These guys aren't machine guns. They uh, are quite easy to destroy and uh, deal with, in my opinion. But uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully, like I said, I put up some comms. You've had some stats. Um, like with the league standings and uh, you can see sort of like what is going on i also hopefully have put up like a, a ranking of like all the factions there's probably a lot of pop-ups these are very different sort of siege battles but yeah there's a lot of like uh rankings of like of what factions do better so uh, i think um so you can kind of get an idea of how many points um you get for uh for using a certain faction so you get more points for using uh factions like uh like weaker factions like the horde factions uh, then you do say like playing Rome where you lose points uh, in fact so yeah you get like three points for uh, winning an attack and then two points uh, for winning a defense I believe I think it's that way around and uh, then you obviously get your bonus points for whatever factions you use or you uh, get or you lose points if you use really like easy factions what well, they count like this fight uh, this uh, tournament count as OP but yes so uh, I hope you guys do enjoy this uh, Rome 2 Siege anyway. It is obviously, at the end of the day, just a normal, typical Rome 2 Siege. You may not be interested in the uh, tournament. If you are, that's an added bonus. Uh, if you're not, then don't worry about it too much. Uh, just to sit back, enjoy the siege, and I hope you guys do enjoy. So yes, it does seem as though, getting into this siege, uh, the, defend the defenders will have to defend this breach here that the uh, attackers have opened up. I imagine a bit like... In the previous siege battle, which was on the same map, by the way, uh, it's just that we were fighting on the other side. This um, this was where uh, E tiers had to defend last time, and they decided not to attack this point. I guess maybe they thought it wasn't as advantageous. Maybe I don't know. Um, I personally think that is the better side over there. It's got a longer wall. This is a very small wall, and it's going to be pretty hard to assault. I would have thought, uh, but they are going to have to use, in my opinion, this ledge over here, this hill, and use it to set up archers and fire into uh, the choke points here that they'll be fighting over trying to deal with these uh, veteran shield warriors and various other things i'll put up the uh, stats as well so you guys can see uh who has got how many kills but iberian swords already clashing down here against levy freeman and slicing the dice and those boys nervi looks like they're going to be the ones softening up the enemy sending in their cheap levy freeman and celtic warriors to try and do some damage Yes, it also looks like uh, we've got Colchis going in as well. Hillman going in, another cheap unit. Very useful to have, actually. I'm, I'm realizing more and more in Rome 2. Just a few cheap trash units, you know, to take on that first 
saw the salt, that first like salvo of missiles. You just test the waters, and at the end of the day, if it dies, like Javi's at, uh, like I don't know, to a better um, melee infantry unit or something like that, it's being wasted. Is that you know trying to kill your trash hillmen? Like these uh, Iberian swords are being baited out. They have got 74 kills, but they're being baited out of their own um, like city here by hillmen. And now these Celtic Warriors should be able to slice and dice them. It's a very aggressive defense right now from uh, from the Iberian player, or Satani here. He's like, got his, uh, I think these are veteran shield warriors as well. Yeah, veteran shield warriors with 50 melee attack. This is a good unit. You just need to protect it because it has only 30 armor. So missiles are a good way to kill that unit off. Uh, and he's doing it again over here on this side here. Look at this. They're already down 30 men. And they are getting focused quite nicely. Yeah, he's been really aggressive, actually attacking outside the walls. I don't know wh why he thinks this is a good idea. The Javis here coming in from the Carly Axeman. Probably doing a lot of damage to these uh, veteran shield warriors. And yeah, Carly Axeman. I mean, yeah, you can see that the veteran shield warriors losing already. They only got 45 kills and they're wavering. And what a waste of a unit, really, I think, there by Lusitani. Bactrip doesn't seem like he's anywhere also nearby to support. There were some units here, but they now have since disappeared, but yeah, it looks like Lusitani's kind of been left to his uh, own devices. Seems a bit of a bad move. We'll see whether Lusitani can recover from this. Balance of power-wise, barely even. Uh, I'd say maybe ever so slightly in favor of the attackers. Looks like we've got a, a very elite unit already in here as well for Colchis. Colchis and Nobles, they are one of the uh, more elite and probably the, I think the best spear unit they have available. Um, yeah, already throwing them in, them in. I don't know how good an idea that is. Um, but yeah, they, they aren't exactly uh, a very aggressive unit. They are a hot play unit at the end of the day. They just hold the line. Bactrian Hillman being sent in now, so it seems like the defenders, even Bactrian now, they're like, you know, they're double downing on this aggressive defense. But I mean, it, to be honest, the uh, uh, attackers are kind of containing this defense with really cheap units. But it's Colkin Noble. They've got Levy Freeman here, Celtic Warriors. And the, all the sheer amount of javies that have been thrown in is what's doing the real damage to these more elite units like the Iberian Warriors here. Carly Axman, a little flank here and a little javy throw to do a lot of damage. There you go, look at that. Javies into the back of his infantry there. It's really nice. You can just see the uh, Bactrian Hillman dropping ever so slowly. I see some routing Iberians there as well. There you go. I think that's also the Bactrian Hillman gone. And that is it. That looks like the uh, the Sally out, if you call it that, from the defenders is over. Yeah, these uh, veteran shield warriors are already getting shot to pieces here. Zero kills and lost 60 men. Shows you need to protect these guys. They are really good, uh, like we saw in the previous battle, in the previous siege. They are really, really good. And they will tie down, uh, like... Much superior units to them, really well. I mean, with that 50 melee attack, they can do some inflict some serious damage. But you've got to keep them protected. That's why, when in the uh, previous uh, siege, we saw Armenia do a lot of the early heavy lifting, and then Lusitani came in and kind of mopped up when the archer ammo was low and like there's little javi ammo left as well, so they didn't get focused down by them. Lusitani does have a cav unit out here, though. Scutiari cav. It's pretty good. Pretty good cav unit. Uh, maybe that's going to try and go for generals, but. There aren't really any easy generals to get. The Colchian Noble General and an Oath Sworn General. Not easy things to uh, charge and kill. Cav also isn't like, as OP as it is in, say, like Attila. Um, so it's not going to just mu like mow down a, an infantry dip. And it looks like the Oath Sworn are protecting this uh, artillery crew. Which might, to be honest, it might be out of ammo. Who knows? Um, so it's not really anything easy to get. Maybe archers. Is that what that Cav can go for? But it's staying really wide at the moment. All the way out here. So I have to keep an eye on that, make sure it's uh Well, yeah, make sure it doesn't do anything too bad. But I don't I would like to see it kinda of be successful. I don't know who I really want to win it. I kinda of like to see if Alenius was right, you know, sort of, you know, even up the score. Try and uh, try and you know win on the defense themselves, but I don't I'm not really siding with any team. Maybe you are. Maybe you're like I'm E tears till I die, or maybe you're Valenius was right, you're like on a route for them, you want them to win the tournament. But yeah, it looks like uh, Colchis 
and uh, Novi are slowly edging their way in. And it looks like Bactria has set up a next line of defense in these choke points here. We've got Thorax Swords and Eastern Spearmen. They're not really going to do too much. They might slow down the enemy for a, a hot minute. They are very, very cheap. You know, Eastern Spearmen, famously one of the worst units in uh, Rome 2. And also in Rome 1. But yeah, they are nothing exciting. Very, very cheap. But we'll see what we can do. Personally, if I was a sunny, I'd be getting all my boys back. Just get back. You don't want to have your troops too near the front line. I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of units here with zero kills. And a lot of losses. Not good at all. There we go. He's the spearman going in. Again, I don't know why he's being too aggressive with the spears. Spears, a better holding, but... I guess maybe just doesn't want his enemy to get a charge bonus. It's also quite possible. Not a bad idea. He doesn't want to just charge out too much because he could get flanked here, that uh, backstream player. Could just get flanked around by a, a, a small Novi unit or something like that. And just his Eastern Spearman would not take much to break. And already look at that Eastern Spearman breaking. The uh, Kelic Warriors are loving it. Still, even at 33 men, they're still fighting on. These guys got. 164 kills, not a bad day for them. 149 with the other. Yeah, they've been okay, you know. Celtic Warriors are, you know, actually pretty underappreciated unit, I feel like. They do do a very good job. Celtic Warriors, I don't know if they're pulling out of combat there. They definitely pulled through their own combat that they were in to get out of combat there. That might actually have affected them. Cost them a lot of men. More fresh Celtic Warriors going in as well by uh, Novi. That'll be a uh, Easy way to mop up these Eastern Spearmen. And we've got Celtic Scorpion here firing. It looks like he's firing and trying to kill these Thorax. He's doing a decent job. Killed about 20 of them already. And they're quite happy just to carry on sitting here, standing in this choke point. And over on this side, we actually have another... I didn't even see this choke point. There's a sneaky little choke point here. The Bactrian Hillman and uh, Veteran Shield Warrior being uh, left to defend. The uh, Veteran Shield Warrior is here again getting shot down. The uh, Eastern Archers here... Using this ledge, which I was saying they needed to use uh, to their advantage to flank the defense there. They're doing a great job. Veteran Shield Warriors actually are losing decisively now. Finding the Carly Axman here. I don't know why. It's only Eastern Archers. If, if the defenders wanted to, they could just bring up their own missiles and just focus these guys down. They wouldn't be hard to kill. Yeah, there you go. Eastern Shield Warriors here. They're getting murdered. I mean, certainly Bactri's got some decent Persian uh, bow units, I think. If they could do some serious damage and probably beat those Eastern Archers in combat, well, not in combat, but in a, in a shooting match. I think the Thorax here should be the Cartley Axeman, yeah. Very heavy against heavy. They have better melee uh, attack to the um, Axeman, but not, not as good armor. Cartley Axeman is going to go and hide up on this hill. Uh, actually, they can get up both sides. I don't know where. Is this a dead end at the end of all this? Oh, it is. So all these units up here are actually trapped on this hill? That's seriously what the issue is? Yeah, I think it is. I can't see a way off at all. There's like four or five... Well, there was four or five units up there for the defenders to trap on this hill. Why they were up there? That's a strange place to try to defend. Um, but yeah, I, if I was the uh, attackers, i keep tying these guys down. Put a unit in this choke point. And just leave it there. I wouldn't be aggressive. But it looks like they can't get off there. What a strange place to defend. Yeah, I don't know why they tried to defend that, actually. Maybe they were trying to be sneaky and hide units in there and then flank later in the game. I don't know. It's a strange one. Anyway, back on this front, it looks like... Again, look at this. Shield Warriors here not really being protected. They're in loose formation, which will help a little bit. But they've still got 30 armor. When, it's a, when the unit... Oh, well, when a guy gets hit, they're going down. Yeah, they're and look at this. Like, they've lost 30 men already. And they've not killed a single guy. I just feel like Lusitan is wasting his troops. He's got really good troops as well. I mean, right now, Bactria, I don't think she's anything other than Hillman. So he's looking okay. Yeah, they, they should probably uh, 
with now into the Kali Axeman, and when, then once they're through that, they're into Bale Eric Slingers, which are some decent uh, Slingers, to be honest. I guess they maybe can't get the same angles while they can't duel with those Eastern Archers, but yeah, they're getting focused down for them. And Eastern Archers aren't even being, like, opposed. Again, Thorax here, I think they're just bitten off more they can chew. They've done their bit. Well, not really. 70 kills isn't that great. Just getting jabby to pieces. Or shot to pieces, yeah. Rough day for them. It looks like veteran shield warriors might be about to come forward. Might be uh, like about to go in. It looks like on these Celtic warriors, they've had enough just being jabbed and shot at. They're gonna go in and get themselves some kills. Probably a good idea. But I mean, they are probably still gonna get focused down. Looks like we've got thorax as well going in there trying to do some work. Thorax swords clashing with these Celtic warriors. It's an easy win for the uh, battery Thorax. But yes, if you've been playing a lot of Rome 2 recently, like Pope, you need to check out some of my replays. Oh boy, do I have some great ones. And I'd be more than happy to do so. Uh, I'm happy to cover anything, uh, like any Rome 2 replays. Not just tournament siege battles, which we have been a bit recently. But also just any just random custom Rome 2 sieges. Feel free to send them into my uh, Discord. Uh, we have like a replays uh, channel where you can just throw as many replays as you like, the more the merrier. And yeah, I'm more than happy to check out anyone's uh, replays, whether you're a new player to Total War or whether you're a veteran of the game with thousands of hours to your name. There you go, looks like Celtic Warriors are breaking or they're wavering at least, but it's fine because Nervii is another unit of Celtic Warriors to go in and harass these uh, Thorax Swords. Again, I don't know, I mean, I. Uh, does Nervi, Nervi I should have bows, they have the Gallic Hunters, they could set them up here on this side and then just shoot inside these Thorax Swords, I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Uh, maybe they're worried about the uh, Mercury Syrian Archers and the Persian Light Archers, uh, potentially, but I don't know. We actually have some pretty nasty uh, swords up here already, Oswald already in for the Nervi I. That'll be what's taking all the attention from the uh, Persian and Syrian Archers here. They'll start shooting these Oswald, I mean 48 melee attacks, pretty damn nasty. It's actually lower than the uh, Veteran Shield Warriors. They're better armor by a lot. 80 armor. These guys be hard to kill. I think the Thorax are losing, yeah. Even though they're both very heavy. Well, one is a B-Tech heavy unit. One is the real deal. Yeah, it looks like just cheap units being thrown in support, maybe. Celtic Warriors. Looks like the uh, Oaksworm might be getting a recall. And it looks like as well, finally, the defenders are going to get wiped out in this little corner here. The Kali Axeman, or just Axeman in fact. The next target should be his Bale Eric's kill them. I mean, they're getting some free kills here. 137 kills actually in the end is not too shabby for these guys. And it's only going up. Jesus, this ripping piece for these uh, slingers though. That was a pretty nasty jabby volley. And here comes the Carly Axeman. Or just, I think actually, just Axeman. Don't know why I keep calling them Carly Axeman. I mean, yeah, 147 kills in the end. Not too bad. I wouldn't be disappointed, but if it's still ammo, that's a bit annoying. Another caveat out here, Iberian Cavalry. The... Uh, Lusitani player again is I mean, it's a bit it's quite a lot of cav is there too much cav I mean in the uh, previous siege we did see e tears who were defending at the time with Armenia they did uh, actually manage to use their cav pretty effectively get it inside the city maybe that's what Lusitani is thinking to try and recreate I don't know his cav is certainly not as good he hasn't got any cataphracts or any heavily armored horse archers but maybe he's hoping to try and do the same with his cab, try and get some rear charges, go for archers once the uh, player's guard's down. Yes, the uh, Celtic Warriors in here. Still haven't broken through his thorax, 140 kills is not too bad at all. Uh, we've got Syrian archers back in this, shooting, I think, Guy Hunters again. Or Celtic Youth, I think they might be actually shooting them. Yeah, zero kills. Down to 49, yeah, that is definitely their target. Yeah, they're not doing too shabby of these archers. I mean, they're pretty battered up themselves. Looks like they've been through the wars, being shot at. Oh, 
axes now in here. It looks like you've got Mula Satani being thrown in and Bactrian infantry as well. Yeah, looking at the balance of power, it's sliding ever so slightly in favor of the attackers. I mean, that'll probably be because the wind's like up on this hill here. Also, forcing back the enemy from the walls. Doing a lot of damage to their uh, Lusitani ally. Speaking of, more veteran shield warriors coming forward. And again, this is just under 81 and zero kills. Not being wa well, not necessarily being wasted yet, but it certainly seems wasted, put it like that. Right now, kind of just getting to a typical sort of like choke point, sort of break, breaking point this is going to come to. I think someone's going to have to break in one of these choke points. And by the looks of it, I would imagine it's going to be probably a defender. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how much more the uh, Bactrians have to offer. A lot of Thorax still coming forward, Bactrian Hillman as well. Sunny Noble is starting to appear. We both sworn in the fight here. Looks like they're taking on these uh, Thorax and the Hillman. Again, it's just easy pickings for them. There's nothing better, I don't think, on the battlefield right now than those Oathsworn. Maybe the Lusitani Nobles, but I don't think they can spam those out today. There we go. Yeah, still a lot of Oathsworn to come into the field as well. That's the thing. What's up here, Gallic Hunters? Oh, where's that? Oh, looks like the cab maybe went for a charge. It certainly went for a, a charge as such. They lost a man, but I don't really think uh, they actually committed much more than that. Also, it's like melee cabs. It's not like it's a uh, chargeable sort of like cab that's going to do a lot of damage. It's not a shock cab. There you go. The Thorax finally give in. We've got a Veteran Shield Warrior here that's Relatively healthy as well. Well, he's very healthy. He's only lost about 10 or so men. Certainly turning into a grindy siege battle. What we love to see. Grindy choke points. Bodies piling up. Blood everywhere. This is what the uh, defenders needed a little bit more. I've just seen a few archer volleys coming into this uh, this combat down here between the Lusitani and the Nervii player. And it's what he needs to do to support his, uh, his infantry lines a little bit more with archers. Uh, the Oswan here getting really, really battered up. I wonder whether Lusitani be has struggled a little bit in this one, uh, the player has, because he can't really bring bows. He brings slingers and jabbies. One of kind of the weaknesses of the uh, Lusitani is their lack of bows. It means they can't really arc their shots and defend like choke points next to them so easily like both of the uh, slingers and skirmishers need a bit more of a direct line of sight so it's really come down to Bactria to rely on with his archers a little bit more it seems anyway Hillman in here yeah taking on these axemen it's not a fair fight really I don't know why he's got so many of them, to be honest. I thought there was just going to be a couple on the front lines, but he seems like they keep coming up. I mean, yeah, his army seems like it's really been made of Bactrian Hillman and uh, Thorax Swords. Talk and it's talking about army makeup, seems like those uh, veteran shield warriors of the Satani are nearly all gone. Back, lift and fight another day. Could just be down to a general and cav, but I mean, good volleys into the back there of the Kali Axeman. Makes them uh, get punished. Turning their back down to 31. Very nice, very nice. So this back to Hillman there. It's good kills. What else have we got here? Light Peltas. I don't think I've ever seen these guys brought. I actually have very light missile infantry unit. Interested. Never seen these guys brought, but okay. I imagine they just have a lot of javis, just a, like a skirmish unit.
Bash and Hillman's break there just in time for the Thorax to come forward. But also Venture Shield Warrior still in there doing some damage. Balance of power, I mean, says that the defenders are like not at, like not in this contest at all. I mean, they, it's still like you can, I've seen Siege won from that. But yeah, I mean, certainly the uh, the attacks of all the troops now inside the settlement bar, I guess, maybe this Cartley Axeman. There's not like loads of lots of archers I'm seeing. Uh, they actually have a couple of those sworn units and then a couple of Hillmen, Axemen. That's it's kind of it actually. There isn't much in the way of. Uh, like solid melee infantry left, but the Oathsworn, like I said, they're army killers, they could just do it themselves. Yeah, if they sit a general in the attack and they get her killed, could be detrimental here. Come on, defenders! It'd be interesting to see how much they've left as well themselves. Fog of War makes it kind of hard to tell. Back General Guard and Lusitani know was definitely back there. There might honestly be nothing else back there. This is this might be it, but uh, it seems the Bactria at least seems to, with the magic of his mind, manages to keep pulling out units out of nowhere. The armor difference between these two units is insane. Like one is literally in like head to toe armor, the other one has a bit of a breastplate going on and a helmet. And that's it. Sent to battle. Also, I would not feel comfortable being a veteran shield warrior and having that tiny ass shield uh, myself. I'd want a bigger shield. I want something like the uh, Carly Axe would have. Jeez, fighting at 17 men, these guys just don't give up. They've not even got any chevrons either. Insane. Yeah, Carly Axe seem like they're the bread and butter at the moment for uh, siege battles I've seen. A lot of people playing Colchis and Armenia. They are winning actually. They're outnumbering Thorax Swords, but they're winning that fight. It's insane. The fresh Axeman coming up. Not a Carly Axeman, just an Axeman. They can send him. And just when you think the supply of uh, infantry was getting low, well, it, it, it doesn't feel like it is anymore. I don't know. It just seems like this is another unit and another unit. Just patiently jamming away here. Thorax Sword is going to finally break. And once that's broken, I mean, the next line of defense that looks like Bactery is setting up here is a long one. It's going to be hard to hold. Uh, you've got Thorax here. Uh, and, and Hillman, and he's got his general here. And he's got archers all over here. His light pelt is definitely not going to do enough. Yeah, he's, I think this is the cap point here. Um, or, or it's over... Or is it up here? I don't know. I can't remember where it is. Oh, no, it's where the Lusitani general is. That's it. It's over here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. Is it not over here? Huh. Ah. Like an appropriate place. But no, I think it is there, then. And if they take that, uh, that cap point... Not GG, but it's certainly uh, morale goes in favour of the attackers. The majority is probably. I imagine the defenders are suck, uh, suck, uh, sick of seeing their uh, their comrades die. They just want some peace and quiet. Again, what's with the hill and factory? Uh, these guys should have been in earlier, not late game. Definitely not late game when everyone's bringing out Oath Sworn and really heavy stuff. These uh, Hillmen will get laughed. Laughed uh, home. Bactrian Hillman, yeah, loses the uh, axe from this price there. Oath Sworn are in here. It's not a health unit, but it's an Oath Sworn unit non nonetheless. You got the archers, a lot of light peltasts being uh, charged down by the axemen, but the axemen are going to get dealt with by the little tiny nobles. Go oh boy, they're scary. Oh, 
And yeah, it looks, it doesn't look good for the, uh, for the defenders at this point. And the attackers have broken through. You can see the uh, Hillman here, they've broken through. They split this defense. Lusitani's going somewhere with this general, I don't know where. Looks like Bactri's going to defend this, uh, this choke point, or this, like, little defense. Bactri Royal Guard, got Thorax Swords again, that's it. There's Lusitani Nobles that might want to think about either getting proactive in some way or another, because... They haven't got, like I said, the greatest morale armor, or missile or block, so yeah. They're only at 25 armor, they're actually lower than those veteran uh, shield warriors. Again, also with that tiny little shield, which I would be scared to use. Give me something bigger. Give me a Roman Scutum. Or just like an Oathsworn shield. That's fine. Where is the uh, general? He's over here, actually. He's gone in the wrong direction. Well, actually, no, it's the right direction for, I guess, getting home. He's slicing and dicing his uh, axe, but you'd expect no less. He's got a starting over 64 melee attack, 111 kills. But it's not going to be enough. It doesn't look like the defenders, from the outset, really, with that strange sally out move, have not put themselves in a strong position and with that like throwaway of about three or four units they've been in uh, second place really all game they just kind of be waiting for the attacks and they can move they'll react to it just fair enough because at that point you can't do much else again I don't think the cavalry really worked I, E2 is the win granted with their cavalry and did get a lot of kills whether they could have just won it without it uh, and just used infantry I don't know Thorax Swords, they're breaking at 91. I think this is army loss is coming into it a little bit. Noble Warriors, yeah, there you go, 139 and wavering. I think we're going to see that general there for Bactri with the final unit to hold. One last look at these elite Spanish. Oh, they break literally just like that. That is a shame. And I think that is going to be game. Bactri, oh god, hasn't broken that. Yeah, they, uh, oh, to be fair, they're fighting for the spears. This is a very high, intense battle here going on. Just a few pokes, a few jabs at each other. And there you go, the last few 10 seconds. It should, yeah, a rear charge like that should uh, route these uh, back to the Royal Guard. I think we've also got like Frenzy Charge, Battle Riddle, and yeah, it will be used against them. And there you go. A costly victory for Nervii and uh, Cold Kiss. So we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. So this was sent in by uh, Tribe Tommy uh, from his perspective. So thank you very much. Uh, he, he was uh, obviously on the E tier side along with Kefford. And they uh, managed to do the double over the uh, Felanius was right. So yeah, so I'll have a quick look at the end results. So uh, Tribe getting 192 kills with his Gallic Hunters here. Uh, his uh, Celtic Swords getting 162 kills, 165. Oaksworn 230, 246. Really, really good kills there. Then we have Kefford playing his Colchis. Uh, his Archers 194 kills. Uh, Colkin Nobles 142 kills. 219 with the Axeman here. Uh, 196 with the uh, Kali Axeman. 186 with his uh, Kali Axeman down here as well. Actually, these guys got outscored by the weaker Axes. Uh, reckless here. Maybe was a little reckless with uh, Bactri. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Brought, I thought he brought more than just four Bactri and Hillman, but maybe they just kept returning. I don't know. Um, his Light Peltas getting 114 kills. Not shab too shabby. Uh, Syrian Archers 183, 171. Uh, his uh, Thorax getting 108, 148. Then we have uh, Theek Uzin playing as Lusitani. I think maybe he was trying to replicate uh, what his opponents did in the previous match, playing as Lusitani. I don't know. Uh, he tried to bring up a lot of these veteran shield warriors who have got really good melee attack, but it just did not protect them. He should have allowed uh, Reckless to, well, be a bit more reckless, defend the front lines, absorb the arch fire while he um, kind of just sat in reserve and waited and patiently. Uh, for his armies to be used. Uh, 190 kills over the Iberian Swords. Uh, and then the best of his veteran shield warriors is 98 here. Yeah, a bit of a rough score for them. Barelex thing is 148 for two of his units there. And then his Elder Star was getting 156. Oh, the cab did get used, but I didn't even see what it did. I didn't even keep an eye on it. It doesn't look like it did anything too exciting. Maybe got some archers. Might have been about it. I'm not sure. But there you go, guys. That is uh, part 
two of the E tiers versus Thelonious was right. Uh, I think the next uh, match I'm going to be uh, to be showing will again be from Group A, which is what I'm covering. Uh, Group A for this season. And I think I'm covering. Um, I think I'm covering uh, Chimeria. Um, Chimera is chosen versus Felanius again. So uh, Felanius will see again, uh, but we'll see a new team in Chimera chosen. So yeah, do remember to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss that matchup, which I'll be very much looking forward to. And that should be out in the next few days. But until then, guys, bye for now.